never had no one that I could count on. I've been let down so many times. I was tired of hurting, so tired of searching. Till you walked into my life, it was a feeling I'd never known. And for the first time, I didn't feel alone. Your mom. reverence on which we come together before God to recognize and commemorate the sacred love and dedication shared between these two people. It's wonderful to have family and friends here today to join us and the bride and groom would like to thank their guests for being here and would like you to know each of you were invited here on this day because you played an integral part in their entwining loves. As the Bible reminds us in Corinthians, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, and it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects and always trusts, always hopes and always perseveres. Love never fails. In the time that Laura and Cole have spent together, they build a sturdy foundation for a lifelong relationship. After a great deal of thoughtful consideration, they have decided to bind themselves to one another for the rest of their lives. May you all remember and cherish this sacred ceremony for on this day with love, we will forever bind Cole and Laura together. Who gives this bride today? Her mother and me. Okay.
You open up here, you can be you guys, you can be a smooch. If there is anyone here in attendance who has cause to believe that this couple should not be joined in marriage, speak now or forever hold your peace. You can be seated. <coughs> marriage is a sac sacred ceremony and today we observe the union of these two people with respect for the occasion warrants. What we honor with reverence, however, we also celebrate with great joy. For married life, a shared life is a tremendous blessing. Now as Cole and Laura embark on this journey together, they will be able to nurture a love that makes each of them better versions of themselves. Marriage is indeed the perfect garden to which to sow and harvest personal growth. Cole and Laura learn to work together, laugh together, love together. Don't get caught up in worldly things that will draw you apart. Instead, focus on your shared devotion and turn inward. As your relationship strengthens, you will find that you come to share a remarkable love, a love that is both abundantly given and freely accepted. The joy you'll find as you pursue your shared lives will fuel you fa to face head on the challenges you will encounter on this earth. On your journeys together, keep your spouse in a space of highest priority in your heart. The love you share must be guarded and cherished. It is most, your most valuable treasure. Under the eyes of God, I solemnly consecrate these matrimonial proceedings and the sacred covenant you shall both enter into on this day. Marriage is an ancient rite. As you enter into this union, you are choosing to take part in a historical human establishment and are pledging your commitment before our witnesses present here today to enter into that tradition. Cole and Laura, the sacred vows that you make to one another today present to you with the opportunity to express your love in your own words. At this time, I would invite you to publicly declare, declare your vow, these vows. Are you ready? All right. I, Cole, take you, Laura. I, Cole, take you, Laura. For my lawfully wedded wife. For my lawfully <coughs> wedded, wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, richer or for poorer. For better or for worse, for richer or for poorer. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I love you and honor you all the days of my life. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Laura, now it's your promise. I, Laura, take you call for my lawfully wedded husband. I, Laura, take you call for my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, for richer or for poorer. For better or for worse, for richer or for poorer. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you, honor you all the days of my life. I will love and honor you all the days of my life. Until death do us part, this is my solemn vow. Until death do us part, this is my solemn vow. Laura and Cole, joining hands. Under the eyes of God, Laura, Laura, do you take Cole to be your lawfully wedded husband? By making this commitment, you are joining in the sacred covenant of marriage. Do you promise to honor him in love? to be sensitive to his needs, to comfort him in difficulty, and to put your full and complete trust in him so long as you both shall live? I do. And Cole, under the eyes of God, you take Laura to be your lawfully wedded wife. By making this commitment, you are joining in the covenant of marriage. You promise to honor her in love, to be sensitive to her needs, to comfort her in difficulty, and to put your full and complete trust in her so long as you both shall live? I do. Very well. Now Cole and Laura have decided to do the sand ceremony. And each one you did your Allow this sand to represent your life, every thought that's ever crossed your mind, and every word that's ever crossed your lips, all your victories and all your failures, all your joys and all of your sorrows. Every grain of sand is another moment, either a moment that has been or a moment that has yet to be. And now tilt your vessels forward and pour your sand into the vessel of marriage. Watch as the grains of sands mix together, forming one structure. So too today, have your two spirits come together to form one singular entity. Just as your combined sands have combined to form a collection much grander than you could ever have accumulated on your own, note also that now combined, the sands may never be again separated. <laughs> your lives, like the sand, have become all the more grand for the involvement of your partner. 
your, sp your spirit so intertwined that they may never again be truly torn asunder. As you move forth in life, keep your partner close to your heart, recognize it, that they are the integral part of your being. Commemorate this union. You may now exchange rings. Do we have the rings? <laughs> the circle formed by each ring symbolizes your internal love and commitment to one another. These rings remind you always that of that of love and are the promises you have made here on this day. Will you each repeat after me as you place the ring on your loved one's hand. I, Laura, give you call this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. I, Laura, give you call this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And Cole, I, Cole, give you, Laura, this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. I, Cole, give you this ring for a symbol of our love and commitment. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. By the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church in the state of Michigan, I now pronounce you, Laura and Cole, as husband and wife, lawfully wedded before God. Cole, you can kiss your bride. Official act, Laura and Cole would induce, introduce themselves. Mr. and Mrs. Cole, my 